Just recently, President Clinton signed a bill that will radically change the welfare system that's been in place for 61 years. Listen to this. The welfare reform law I signed last week gives America a chance, but not a guarantee, to have that kind of new beginning. To have a new social bargain with the poor, guaranteeing health care, child care, and nutrition for the children, but requiring able-bodied parents to work for the income. The bill will put strict limits on the amount of time a person can collect welfare. Our guests today are among almost the 13 million people in this country who feel the impact of this bill, and they are outraged by it. They say they deserve welfare, and if their checks stop coming in, they'll no longer be free to raise their children. But they'll face off today with angry citizens who say that what they're really getting is just a free ride. No matter what side you're on, you or someone you know is going to feel the sting of this new policy. You won't want to miss this hour. Stay with us as our guests say, how dare you take away my welfare? I deserve it. as much as the topic of welfare, and the debate has only gotten more intense since President Clinton's proposed welfare reform. My guests today are on either side of the angry debate over whether welfare benefits provide money for a good cause or money for nothing. Please meet Russell and Mary. They say the welfare reform law is too lenient and that people need to stop taking free handouts. Also joining us, however, are Nikki, who has been on welfare for 10 years, and Elizabeth, who is also on public assistance. They are outraged by the reform plan and say they deserve their benefit checks. Thank you all so much for being here. I'm going to start with Nikki first. Nikki, sure. 10 years. Yes. That's a long time to be on welfare. Um, yeah, I was on welfare. It started off as um, I was 19 years old, and I got pregnant. And my grandmother, who was raising me at the time, found out, and I was going to have an abortion, and it was against her religion, and she asked me to have the child. So you, you've been raising this child. This child is now 10 years old. Yes, and I've been working. Now, a lot of people would say, Nikki, that welfare is supposed to be temporary. 10 years is not temporary for, to a lot of people. But the thing is, I have been working. I've been working with the welfare. Uh, without them asking me to, I've been working. The problem there is that the jobs that I get do not give benefits, or they do not help me with child care, or I don't get enough money from the jobs right. that I work. Russell, what do you think of that? Well, to, to be perfectly honest, 10 years of welfare is, is eight years way too long. Um, the, the a lot of you agree with that. Yeah. No, but have you have you been in a job where you do not get benefits? How many people out there have a job that a has lot benefits? of people? I would imagine. How long did it take you to get that job? But you know what? You have to start somewhere. I started somewhere. I've worked three jobs at once just to make up for the little bit that welfare does give me. So, Russell, you are totally against this. You're, you think the welfare reform, the new welfare reform, is too, too lenient. lenient. Why do you say that? Well, I think, first of all, if you can't find a job to support yourself and your children within a matter of months, you're not looking hard enough. You need to go out and look for a job. Where is the job coming from? Excuse me! You're talking about get out and get a job, please. When it's 400 people, 4,000 people just got laid off from AT&T. Where are these people going? 400,000. I want to get other people involved too. Mary, are you are also, you think this new welfare reform is just too lenient. Oh, of course. I don't think they should be on it. I don't believe in welfare at all. I have no sympathy. Who's been at taking Wait, you have no you. sympathy for well, someone? I mean, for I don't want to sound heartless. I'm sure the situation's out you there. You sound pretty heartless. Well, all yes. right. Well, the situation's yeah. out there that I'm sure these people need the help. 
But for 10 years, I'm just too... When you ask for welfare, you're asking every single taxpayer out here. Please, so I'm doing that. that. So that's you can right. see that you can't catch this. That's bull. I work. I Not work good. six jobs at once. Every one of those jobs do not pay benefits. Okay. Yes. Where's six jobs at once. Wait, wait, counting. Six Where's jobs at once. How, okay, why? Really you have dead. six jobs, ma'am. Why do you still need the welfare because check? Because they pay minimum wage. Low wage. Four wages. times six is Four times six is $24 an hour. That's a lot of money. That's one money that I'm making. The minimum wage is not. Not when you're only working two days for this job. One at a time, guys. One at a time. The minimum wage is not four dollars an hour. No, it was four twenty-five, right. and as of the first, it went to four seventy-five. Yeah, that, 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 that is not. That is not. Okay, but you know what? Right. The, no. Okay, I want to get you involved, Elizabeth. You too. You are also on public assistance, and I've been on the four seventy-five. I mean, you got the taxes taken out. I mean, you you really got to look at the way the welfare system set up today. They make more money sitting at home than they do working well, at four dollars an hour. People talk about their tax money is going to welfare and whatnot, one percent of the federal budget goes to welfare. And my welfare, welfare is my not, welfare no, that's is four, that's, that's two to four cents out of every tax Please, dollar you pay. That. That's ridiculous to think that that's a huge sum of it money. Isn't. And, if and welfare, is also, welfare is also consi consists of unemployment, Social Security, and AFDC. You're and right. But being, how long have you been on public assistance? Four and a half years. Four and a half years. Again, that's not temporary. But that's no, what I've also been in school for three and a half years. I started school and when my son was one years old. how long has somebody been on disability? Or how long somebody's been on social employment? Well, that's a whole other show. Uh, Today we're talking about welfare. welfare. But it's it's welfare. Welfare. Yes, ma'am. Everybody deserves welfare. Who is to decide what is temporary and what is not? Yeah. I sense you're not from here. No, I'm from England. And, and everybody in your country has health care, too. more that needs to be done with it. Yeah. Everybody deserves welfare yeah. and everyone deserves health care too. And right. health care. I, I, I don't know really how it works here. But for you to say that nobody deserves welfare, well, like I, what? Why you don't you guys been put into money? But no, you got to understand something. In this country, it's abused. It becomes a lifestyle. Okay, I I don't know. Know. Hang on, hang on. There's I want to no introduce, we have special it. visitors today joining us in Baltimore. Uh, the, in Mar Baltimore, Maryland, uh, one of my favorite cities, uh, at the Paplin School for Teens and Expectant Mothers, we have them. Someone standing by with a comment. Hi. What do you want to say? Um, how is it possible that you could uh, work six jobs and still collect welfare? Yeah, I know the same thing. Because the, the jobs that I got, the jobs that I was working, were two days here for one job. Two days, only two days to work for these people. They were under the table jobs where they paid me very, very minimal amounts of money. You know, scrubbing toilets, doing this. I was doing what I could to keep PG and E going, getting telephone from getting cut off. Okay. Paying my baby. So you you are a teen mother in Baltimore, ma'am. Yes. You are a teen mother. Yes. And do you, are you on public assistance? No. no, you're not. How do you make ends meet? I go to school so that I can get my GED so I can get a job, basically. All right. There's lots more to come. Coming up next, she says she'd rather not have kids than raise them on welfare, but she's going to face off with a pregnant teen who says she doesn't want to raise hers without it. How will the welfare reform affect teen moms? Stay tuned to find out. Welfare, but now we're going to focus on how President Clinton's reform plan will affect unwed teen moms. According to the new plan, welfare payments to unwed teen moms will be cut off, although they still can get food stamps and vouchers for diapers if they live with an adult and stay in school. My next guest is worried that the reform will negatively impact her life. 
meet Sarah. She is 18 years old and eight and a half months pregnant. She says her unborn child will suffer if her benefits are taken away. How do you think your unborn child will suffer? Um, well, with the new Welfare Reform Act in my state, um, all the funding for uh, people going to school, I've already got my high school diploma, so I've already graduated high school. Um, I'm trying to go to um, a four-year degree college um, so I can get off welfare as soon as I can, you know, so I can take care of my baby for the rest of her life, you know, without her being on welfare, because I don't choose to be on welfare. I mean, this is just something that's going And you're not taking advantage. This no. is something that you need right now. But uh, does it scare you that you might be cut off before you get off? Yes. I mean, it scares me very, very much so because, like a lot of my friends before the change, they did graduate. They succeeded in graduating college and then later eventually got their master's. But, um, you know, they had help. They had the um, just certain programs that were given. But um, with this new Welfare Act, they're cutting they're all gone. those. They're all gone. All right. Well, Pam, well, you're sitting next to Sarah. Let me introduce yeah. you. You are for this reform. That's right. Tell me why. Um, I think that people need to take responsibility for their own lives. I understand that things happen. But, but wait. I mean, you say that. You say that. But how is she not taking responsibility? She's, she's already got the high school diploma. She's on her way to college. You know, this baby's coming. You well, said things happen. Can I make a comment? Things happen. Hang on. One at a time. That's one time. Pam. 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 You got to talk one at a time so we can hear you all. Pam, you were saying she should have thought of this before she got pregnant. Before she got pregnant. Well, you said oh, things okay. happen. Well, this happens. So there's other alternatives, such as such as adoption. There's no way. Such such as as a baby. She's so wait, 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 wait. Adoption. What are you getting at, Pam? You're saying she should sooner adopt this child out rather than receive yeah. welfare. Yeah. That's what you would do if you were in her situation. I would work. I would work. I. I She's I eight and working. a half months pregnant. How does who hires an eight and a half month no, pregnant? No, 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 I'm living in government housing. Where's your family? What about your parents? My, fa my I'm 18 family. years old. My family has raised me already. I don't think that I should go back home, be dependent on my parents. And so I should be So you're not going to be They don't owe you anything higher. So everybody in this audience who is working Pam, owes it to you. Your feeling is you don't have kids because you cannot afford them yet. Absolutely. Things okay. I can't afford I think kids. Exactly. I've been working eight years for a four-year degree. I've been going to school since I was 20 years old. I still don't have that degree because I will, I'll work, I'll save up some money, and then I go to school. When the money's out, I work more, save up more money, go to school. It takes time. you got to work for it. You don't My just get it for her master's in you four don't years. Get it for no, five years. She got her master's You've in five years. Can I comment She's on this? Yes, Russell. Yes, yes. Well, yes. that's all there's, good work. There's, fine there's for another her. way besides welfare, welfare, and that is financial aid. And if you're in the situation that you are in, you don't live at home, you, you have a baby, I'm sure that your financial aid will cover whatever costs you no, need for no, no, school. No, 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 when child care costs $118 a month. Again, 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 one at a time, okay? One at a time. Why can't, why will not uh, financial aid work for you? Because child care is so outrageous. I mean, they, the, that's how everybody gets, out. all my friends have gotten through because they have had all their child care paid for. But with and this new bill, can't help you with this new bill, the program, no, my parents don't live two doors down from me. They live a half you an hour away. You need to think about what that baby is going to need. If you need to move, it needs to your a mother. Parents, that's what it needs. Need. Need. Okay. Okay. You need to go home. You need to go home. You need to go to school. It doesn't need to depend on my parents. It doesn't need to depend on my parents. My parents have to me. So you're depending on me. You're depending on everybody here. I am the daddy. I am one thing to say. Yes, Nikki. She's talking about her having a job. Corporate downsizing has become a fad. One of these days, you might not I've have a job for a corporate. And I'm going to let you know. She that when you on public assistance, you're supposed to use it to do something positive, not to sit on your butt. One Thank day, the much. lady with the um, skirt, oh, right the, the cream. Elizabeth? Yeah. Oh, Pam, Pam. All oh, right, Pam. You shouldn't tell her for being pregnant. She's doing something with her life. One day you might not be able to go to school no more, and you're going to need public assistance, yeah. and you're going to be the one on the show yes. next time looking stupid. Oh, yeah. Okay, I just have a question for Nikki. Pam, Pam. Pam, 
attention. Yes. I have a question for Nikki, right? Nikki, where do you live? Do you live in New York City? Honey, no. I live in California. Okay, I just want to let you know, right? Me and my friend were unemployed for three months, and we looked hard for a job, and we finally got a job. You've been on work for, for 10 years? That's too long. I'm sorry. I've been looking at that. Is what is too long to you, ma'am? What, what, what number would it be? I mean, come on. I no, mean, you, me you had your baby something. fine. Your baby is born. No. You need to find a full-time job. I understand. You need to find After a full-time job. After I had my son. You know? After I had my son, I went to college. I had to drop out of college because I okay, had to so no wait, you went to care. college? You have, you have, yes. I had to drop out. And you still I, can't find a job. I have got my resume is in the back. I have data entry. I have all these skills. I was a legal secretary. I don't look for jobs. All right, you know what? If anybody's watching and wants to hire I Nikki, let's get her off the system. J-O-B, and they should know because they've been there. But they're going to face off with a woman who's been on welfare for 10 years and says she deserves it because it's only a crutch. How will the welfare plan affect people who remain on welfare and don't look for jobs? Got to stay tuned. Find out. Don't go anywhere. The kitchen Ricky, where there are mice that come from behind the refrigerator. They come from over here under the sink behind the stove. We have a responsibility, we have a moral obligation to make sure the people who are being required to work have the opportunity to work. We must make sure the jobs are there. checks and are concerned that President Clinton's welfare reform law will destroy their lives. According to the new bill, all welfare recipients must go to work within two years or they're going to lose their benefits. Meet Chandra and Lisa. Chandra's been on welfare for 10 years. 10 years is the magic number, isn't it? And it says there is no reason for her to accept a $4 an hour job. Lisa's been on welfare for two years and says she has every right to collect welfare. Also joining us is Tiffany, who was on welfare for 18 months, but fought her way off the system. And last, but certainly not least, we have Jenny. Jenny was on public assistance, but is now a certified nurse's assistant. Thank you all, ladies, for being here. Russell, you were coming down awfully hard on the people. You know, Nikki, who was on public assistance for 10 years, what is the magic number for you? What is too much? Two I years. Think, well, in, in the new bill, two years. Now, I, I can agree with that because he's, uh, the, Bill Clinton is trying to produce more jobs. To, to right, I just wanted to know the two years. You think two years is too much. Years okay, but someone very, very close to you who's also sitting on the stage, who is your fiancé, yes. was on public assistance yes. for eight, eight years. years. And I did have a problem with that. When we got together, I let her know. This is Jenny, Jenny, the one who's the nurse's assistant now. But you are on public assistance for eight years. What I'm getting at, Russell, is aren't you a bit of a hypocrite? No, and I'll tell you why. Wait, wait a second, I will tell you. If, if I may tell you why. Tell me why. She has turned her life around, has raised two children on her own, and has a trade. Okay, she but will... you know what, maybe Nikki's on the road to turning her life around. I'm going to go three and a half years next fall. All right, but I want to get these guys involved. You know what, we have a comment from the Pathman School in Baltimore, Maryland. Hi, what do you want to say? Hi, Ricky, this is Kendra. I, I want to know if I, I got five children, and if I get a job, how am I going to, I can't afford to pay for daycare. Thank you. Yeah, and what do they do? What do you suppose she, get, she does? Where are the fathers? Where, where, where are the, the fathers father? of his children? Yeah. 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 Well, it always falls back on the woman and is punitive. You're right, you're right. It is unfair. You're, you're right. Uh, I can't argue with you. But wait a minute, guys. Yes, Tiffany, what do you want to say? But you can't sit up there and light it all on the fathers because it takes two to make a child. Oh, Tiffany, Tiffany, hang on, I want to get 
get Chandra involved. You also have been on public assistance for 10 years. Right. 10 years. But not 10 continued, consistent years. I mean, I've been on it, and when I lose my job, I fall back on it. But I have worked. Like, tomorrow, I start a new okay, job. Okay, but you know, now that this bill is in place, you know, you're going to have five years, and then when the five years are up, there's nowhere to go. Oh, I understand it, but I have a trade. So it's not like, you know, I've just been on welfare for the 10 years. I have worked. But like I said, when I lose my job, I have to have something to fall back on. But so I we all have welfare. trades, and we all haven't been on welfare for 10 years. What what makes you so different? She has Give a it child. child. I I have have more she doesn't have a child. 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 She doesn't have
But my next guest, Teresa, is here to tell you that in her case, she never would have been able to raise her three children had it not been for her four years on welfare. And the four years are continuing because you're currently on welfare. Right? Yes, I am. And I'd like to say thank you very much to the public for being able to help me. This is a situation of empathy, not sympathy, not any other thing. This is not something that we want. It's not something that we ask for. Our partners decided to come out of the commitment. I understand that I have responsibility that I had the three children. What I do do, and let me tell you this, what I do do, I give back to the community. I work as a volunteer EMT. Okay, so if up, you volunteer, why can't you get a job and use that time to work? And there's no full-time work in Suffolk County. As there's an EMT. no full-time work? No, no full-time. It's a volunteer basis on Long Island. I worked the firefight, the fires out in Southampton last year. I did the TWA standby. I mean, I go out and help the public back and the taxpayers back for helping me out with my children. It sounds I good. Are you guys okay with this or do you think she needs to find a job that pays actual bills? I will be off from social <laughs> service in seven months. I graduate in March. I will pay taxes again. And God forbid this happens to another young mom with children. At least she has that assistance. I agree. It shouldn't be a long time program. This is not something But long that time, do you understand do. that if you, if this, if this has been effect four years ago, you would only have one more year left in your lifetime to, to rely on welfare. Ricky, I'm glad about the reform. I had a fight for my education. You know what they told me? They told me until my child started first grade that they would not fund me for education for school. They would not provide me transportation or help me at all. I went to the schools myself. I find out about financial aid. I found out about becoming an EMT. I went to medical school, school on myself in the world. Well, it seems this like I mean, you are incredibly strong. Why can't you use that that conviction, that 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 that? Oh, that's true. To get but right now, it takes me all day to be in school so how am I gonna work all night I can't okay. I can't leave where all am right. I gonna leave the yes children? what do you want to say okay two things one I mean I have a lot of friends that were in high school they all were pregnant I understand the girl that's pregnant with her Sarah Sarah I can understand her thing I know a lot of teenagers that are having kids now I understand okay you have empathy for her who don't you have empathy for for the ones that don't I mean people should just get a job playing I work nine to five I pay taxes that we're not getting a job but I'm just saying listen to what I'm saying I mean I can understand you people no, no, my mother was on welfare, and then she went got up and got herself a job. All right, I work. I don't have kids. I mean, I don't want any kids, but I'm saying I don't have any kids. All right, I need to, I need to go move on. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I want to go to the Packwood School. Hi, ma'am, what do you want to say? Hi, my name is Connie, Ricky. How you doing? I've been on, well, I was on welfare for 11 years, and to everyone sitting in that audience, sitting in judgment, to everyone on welfare, you need to know, we have children, the, the system was designed for our children, not for us. And if you take advantage of every, pro every, op every opportunity that's available to you, you can move up. But if the opportunities are not there for you, that's please right. don't sit in judgment that's of someone right. unless you grow up in there. Well, you bring up a good point, ma'am. It's, it's true that 1.1 million children are going to be put in poverty because of this reform. Yeah, there is. The only difference between the audience and time. us is that you can't speak and you can, you're not in our shoes. Well, you haven't been in our but shoes. I'm it's in devastating. Shoes, I know what it's like. It's I devastating. Like Guys, one at a time. Nikki, please. Done. Tiffany. I know. I was in that. I pay with my dignity, with the self esteem of my right. children, exactly. and the stigma attached to being on this system. Exactly. I would have made the change for them. I would have sat there. I made a decision, and I took it. And now I am That's making more right. than half the workers in the state of Maryland. It's a All right. system. Good for you, ma'am. Thank you. It's not Teresa. Exactly. It's a system. Let me take a comment here. What do you want to say, ma'am? I think they're being way too harsh. You know, everybody's. Who's being way too harsh? Russell or against the welfare, want to take away from the people. You know, you're saying, get a job, get a job, get a job. I'm the mother of three children. And that is the hardest job and the most fulfilling job that anybody can have is to raise a decent child. I don't and agree. Society. And I don't no, President Clinton should worry more about getting decent, affordable child care where we can feel, you know, safe leaving our children. And you'll see what it's like, Ricky. And getting the fathers who don't pay the child care to pay the child because I was there, but two years, it, I mean, five years is way too much, in my opinion, because I did it in 18 months, and you want to know something, everybody's talking about, there's no, there's no chances, there's no jobs, there's no opportunities, let me ask you, you have, this. listen, you, no, I'm talking, you have to make the change, you have to make the change, what I did is, yeah, there were no jobs when I got off of welfare, so what I did is I went to beauty school, and I created a job, that's what you can do, that's what you can do, can it be short, can it be real quick, what do you want to say? I just want to ask, these people that are on welfare and having children, 
why on earth are you having more than one child if you don't make a mistake? Good question. Please take a break. When we come back, our experts will face off about the new welfare law. And if you're still not sure how you feel about this issue, you will be after you hear what they have to say. So don't go anywhere. They give you aptitude tests. They tell you what you're qualified for and send you on the street. There's no training there. Uh -huh. You see what We are back and we're going to go directly to Baltimore. I understand you, ma'am, are a woman, you are pregnant, and you uh, are currently on welfare. What do you have to say, ma'am? That's you. My name is Sharon, and I'm 19 years old. I have a three-year-old daughter, and I've been on welfare for a little over a year now, but I used it the right way. I had what do you mean you used it the right way? How did you, how did you use it the right way? Well, I had, they helped me find some type of school system for me to get my diploma back, and I had to spend a little over a year, and I had to take my daughter to school with me in order to get my, my diploma. But after I got some assistance with daycare with, for my daughter, then I was able to go to school, and right now I'm finishing my first year in college. So they, these women are making up an excuse, some of them, talking about that. They said this and that about the children. Okay, so they're using it for the wrong reasons, whereas you're using it for the right reasons. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, ma'am. I now want to introduce to you Ray Gilbert, coordinator of a single parent program in North Carolina, and Jim Martin, the deputy of the national chairman of CORE. Uh, thank you guys for joining us, and you guys disagree. You're on both sides of the fence here. All right, shed some light here today. You are pro, you're, you're anti-reform. Yes. Why? Particular reform. I am for reform, but I think the particular reform that has been passed is going to be detrimental to the people yes. who we need to That's serve. Right. And okay. I think that those of us who would believe that everybody is abusing welfare better take a great look at corporate America. That's and right. take a great That's look right. at the Western yeah. farmers who are being able to allow their animals to graze on our federal government land at a reduced cost that is really sad compared to the amount of money that we spend to uh, assist these ladies. Now, I want you to know that I support the fact that welfare should be reformed. I, it's ridiculous that a person would be on welfare 10 years. But you think the way they're doing it is not yeah. the way to go? Camping it all. Jim, you're all for it. You think it's the best thing to happen? Absolutely. Tell me why. Uh, the notion of 10 years on welfare is painfully offensive. Uh, there's absolutely no justification for anyone being on welfare so 10 years. So what is offensive is the fact that you guys don't have any jobs in America. I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. I beg your This is from a lady who had six jobs, but, but that's neither here nor there. Our organization, CORE, runs a welfare training program, a welfare reform program called Project Independence that we've had for five years. Is this a national organization or is this it only is a one? It's a national organization. It is. So in our New York City operation, we've had in five years over 2,000 welfare mothers come through our operation with an 85% job placement rate after 90 days. Right? Jim, I think one of the things we better be careful of is when we use government statistics, because having done research, mm -hmm. I know you can make statistics say whatever you please. The one thing we better be careful of is when we cap off this limit by saying five years maximum, we better be very careful because, as the president has said, I really don't think those jobs are out there that people keep claiming that are out there. I know for a fact college graduates with bachelor's degrees mm -hmm. who are flipping burgers at sure. four eighty-five an hour. And let me tell you, if you try to make a family income and support a family on four eighty-five an hour, you're going to have trouble. All right, it's thank you. Just hang on, guys. Hang on one second. Yes. I have a comment. Um, I have, I'm a divorced single parent of two children, and I was on state and I put myself through college. Um, and I'm still struggling, okay? But the thing is, is it's the dads, where my ex has yeah, the court order for $50 a month for two children. Right. It's ridiculous. Right. That's what I think. I think that's where we single moms and single dads that need to get help collecting that money. And I have two children. And I have a good, a nice job now, but I'm still struggling. I still get food stamps. 
Because I just can't make it. What's going to happen to my mom? What, what I don't know. What is going to happen to our medical? Right? Well, interestingly, interestingly, there are, you know, there are state waivers, and there are states that have used uh, programs to retain medical benefits in the state of Wisconsin for those welfare mothers who have gone to work. Mm -hmm. So there are programs available and yeah, there are come on, aren't they the slashing them? Let's deal with reality, yeah. Ricky. That's there are programs in place, and I think that's just the problem. The government has too many programs. What we need to do is an internal audit. Let's start focusing on the departments of social service. Let's revitalize them. Then you can go out and deal with these participants. All right, but until you get your house together, it's going to be hard to do. All right, we need to take a break. I'm sorry. We're going to be right back with a bunch more. Don't go away. for girls in Baltimore, Maryland. She's a friend around here. Hi, Rosetta. Hi, Ricky. I wanted to ask you, Rosetta, how do you think this new reform bill is going to affect the children at your school? Well, what it says is they don't have a reason and they don't have an excuse now. They've got to do this. I mean, their grandparents and their, and their parents are going to take some time to do this, but this is good because it, it says now you've got to do it. In other words, they're starting at the starting line, zero tolerance. There's some things that I think a girl's got to do what a girl's got to do. These girls have got to do it. So you're so for this reform bill. You think it's a good thing? Yes, I do. Yes, because in other words, it's time now. I mean, there's nothing that lasts forever. And certainly when we're talking about children, and if we don't do this, we're going to affect the greatest commodity that we have in our nation, and that's our kids. And we have no tomorrow without our children, so they got to start now. Hit the line now. All right. Thank you, Rosetta. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. What do you want to add to this conversation? I just want to say that welfare is just a debilitating force that has weakened men and women. It's giving men an out with it. Mostly women. Mostly women, because they, those guys don't stick around when they make those babies, and they have no choice. Yeah, but it's still, it's still, it's still, welfare seemed to be a force in which uh, it gave men an out where they don't have to be there. And then the government is responsible for that. It's almost saying that they don't want men around in the household. And secondly, it, it weakened women, because now women are saying, 10 years, you're like veterans here. You know, so much. You put a pension. You put a pension off of it. You've been on a straight ten years. I have not been on a straight ten years. And then, like you said, I'm not proud of you. We have real pride. Ten years is ten years. is you you feel like you should not have to take a four dollar an hour job but you know oh, what no, oh no no uh -uh, no i have been doing four dollars an hour job i've done minimum wage i've done jobs under the tent and i have gone to project independence and in miami project independence you know what they do they give you aptitude tests they tell you what you're qualified for and send you on the street there's no training there uh -huh. you see what i'm saying that's, 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 Okay, Jim, what do you say to that? I mean, she said they sent her on her way. They gave her an aptitude test and told her to go look it. I was qualified That's for it. labor skills, and they give you paper, and you have to go to job search, and if you don't go, they cut your check. Guess what? That's a government program. Okay. That's a disaster. Okay. <laughs> okay? Cause, let, let me say something. CORE's program is financed by us. Okay, by contributions. We don't take a government penny. Project okay. Independence. That's, that's CORE's Project Independence. I didn't say a state Ricky, program. Like Our say, program. Since yes, Lisa. Training program. Since I've been on public assistance, I mean, it's like in D Washington, D.C., where I'm from, public assistance, they offer more than like food stamps and Medicaid. They pay for me to go to school to receive a, a certificate and word processing and data entry. I took advantage of that. They pay if they want to that sounds really good to a lot of people. A lot of people who are struggling, but they, they don't have anything. One with, point. With, within this welfare system, there is another program called Jobs. Yeah. They sit you out and give you jobs. Okay. You know what? Why didn't you tell that brilliant advice to your fiance eight years ago? That's what she did. Eight years ago. That's what she did. All right. That's what she did. Okay. Please take a break. I'm sorry, Tiffany. We'll be right back after this. Don't go away.
take this opportunity to thank all of my guests for being here today. Thank you guys. You guys were terrific. And also, to the people at the Paplin School. Thank you, girls. Rosetta, thank you so much, ladies. Before we go, I wanted to let you in on the results of our first ever Ricky website poll on the internet. We asked you whether you agreed or disagreed with the changes in the welfare system, and this is what you said. According to the poll, 77% of you are for the new welfare reform, and 22% are against it. We hope we've made you think today, but no matter what side of the issue you're on, I think what we all have in common is that we all want to live a good life and take care of our families. We should all work together to make sure that it's not a dream, but a reality. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Promotional fees have been paid by the following.